this is really far from a fully articulated thought, but it's interesting to me that like everyone's favorite guys right now, which I would say is this guy and Jack Harlow, are like white guys who are comfortable in black environments. Do you know what I'm saying? This is not a fully articulated thought, but there there's something about that. And like, especially in the case of Jack Harlow, like not just comfortable, but almost seeming to prefer it. You sound unbelievably fucking stupid. Could you imagine making such a mountain out of such a minute molehill that you are literally complaining that white individuals are playing a sport? I don't care if the sport is mainly dominated by black people. They're allowed to participate and also partake in playing the damn sport. It's not a problem. Take your insecurities, ball them up, and you deal with them by yourself. Don't post that and think, mm, even though this is not a clear articulated thought, I could really say something here that could get the ball rolling in conversation. No, you can't. There's nothing here. I'm tired of these people. I'm tired of all these idiots thinking that whether if it's a well thought out conversation or just them bitching about something, it's something everyone's going to understand and agree with. Hmm, I can understand by seeing this person here and all all these different people attracted to him don't you find it weird that this person is hanging around black people no because he's working on his craft of wanting to be a basketball star he probably spent his time in high school dribbling shooting catching rebounds being a water boy whatever he did to learn how to play basketball now he's in college whether if he tried out for the team or got a scholarship which he probably deserved because he worked hard for it he's playing a sport you know why because he wants to go to that slave trade known as the NBA. Shout out to Colin Kaepernick. Everything is not that much of an issue. For the fact that people like to complain at me for making everything racial, they're doing a great job doing it for me to the point where I don't have to whatsoever. There's no reason for this. It's just people making mountains out of molehills. And I wish they would all stop, but then again, I just like seeing stupid people talk. It's interesting. It's starting to get funny again. I said that it was boring. I said that it was hurting my brain and my heart, but it's getting my dick hard again. I'm excited to see the stupidity from these people again. And even though, I'll say it again, she admits it's not a well-articulated thought, it's still dumb because you know everybody who's gonna see that there's gonna be a side that thinks yeah you're undoubtedly dumb for what you're saying but there's also gonna be that side that says hmm well you know you might have a point here no there is no point here it is a college student in college participating in a sport they chose to play in it's not his fault that every other person there is black he's still allowed to be there just like all the black athletes just like all the mexican athletes just like all the chinese athletes you understand that there's a dude in chicago named caruso playing with a black guy named damar that's not an issue you have all these different ethnicities in this sport why is it now you feel like hmm it's such a problem for us to discuss no it isn't so to end this video simply plain and put all of you that do this please continue to do it i need the laugh at your dumb mind because what you're saying or what you're loosely saying or what well articulated or not well articulated thoughts you have please keep posting them i love it it gets me titillated my taint begins to get tickled from this because it's fun again it's fun watching you stupid people try to make a mountain out of a molehill i'm happy i'm satisfied subscribe to the channel i got my groove back and i'll see you in the next one goodbye